Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new PC July Paldean Fates deck video, and today we're looking at a double Skeledurge EX deck. I have been waiting to do this video since we got the release of the new Metal Skeledurge in Paradox Rift, but it had to be done. There are two Skeledurge EXs in the format, and we had to play both of them together, and they're actually both decent cards, and I think they kind of combine well together. Of course, the Skeletor GX, the fire type ones, got the attack Burning Voice, which for two fire does 270 damage, minus 10 more damage, reach damage counter on this Pokemon. And then, of course, we all know the new Metal Skeletor has had a really strong ability in Cinderary Song, where you can discard a basic fire energy from your hand, and then during your next turn, attacks used by your active Pokemon do 60 more damage to your opponent's active, which is really good. A boost of 60 damage is insane. The ability, of course, does stack too. Um, and we can use that with the Fire Skeletors. If we can ever set this guy up, we got Burning Voice, which plus 60 damage on the 270 damage is a lot of damage to do. That's going to knock out stuff like Charizard EX in one hit. Um, we got Arceus V-Star, which is a great card to play in a deck when you're playing multiple different stage twos. It's nice to have access to Starbirth. Arceus is also really good with Skeletors EX because Trini Nova can usually do 200 or 180 with a double turbo. When you combine that with the Skeletor's Metal Pokemon's ability, you can do even more damage, and then you're knocking out basic EXs with RC's V-Star. It's like a mini Maximum Belt, and Maximum Belt is already going to be a huge card in our next set. I am playing the Pogo Zard in the deck. I think it's a really good card to play in here. Um, not only can you use it with Skeletor's, um, you know, to attack for one energy, because with its ability, it does double the fire energy on your Pokemon. So if you have one fire energy on your Pokemon, it provides two instead of one, meaning that for just a single fire energy, Skeletor GX here can do Burning Voice for one fire energy for 270 damage, which is really, really good. You can also combine that with something like Cheryl to fully heal it, because of course the effect does mean that you're going to have, um, you know, you do less damage for each damage counter on it. There's also Radiant Charizard, which can also do big damage with Skeletor GX, but you can also use it with the Pogozard, so it can attack even earlier on in the game. You can even use the Skeletor GX as another attacker and attack for one energy with Luster Burn. This card isn't bad either as an attacker. It does do decent damage, and it's got a lot of HP and it's a metal Pokemon, which is really good against something like Shempow EX, which is somewhat popular right now because it just won a regional. And this is the list I am playing for my double Skeletor's EX deck. Before we get the video, show to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. Of course, if you're looking for any PCG Live pack outs, get them over at Card Cavern Card Council's code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set like the main set, Paldean Fates, or an older set, like 151 or Paradox Rift, or you want to get some IRL Pokemon cards and product and singles, Card Cavern sells all that over there. You can even trade in your codes to Card Cavern to get some cash. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help our Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern, check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, make sure to go check out the Shovel Squad down below and my second YouTube channel. You definitely don't want to miss out on the content I probably got coming out this week on the second channel. There is another Champions League over in Japan. Maybe I'll do a watch party for that. If y'all want to see me do a watch party for the Champions League, let me know in the comments below. I haven't done a watch party before, but I'd be very interested to do one for rotation in Japan. Um, but yeah, there's going to be another set reveal that's going to be coming out in Japan this weekend, I'm pretty sure. And that set will be a part of our Temporal Forces set. So if you want to see some new cards, man, I'm going to be looking at all of them on the second channel. Definitely go sub to it down below. So this is the deck here, of course, in its full view. Um, there's a lot going on in the deck, I know. But it's actually a pretty cool deck. It's, it's, a, it's very much a pile, I know. But it's a pile that does have moving pieces. For starters, we are playing the two Skeletors medals, one Fire Skeletors EX. The Fire Skeletor is not the most reliable attacker. It does do big damage, knock stuff out. If you can set up the double Skeletor, which, again, it's not hard to do when you have Starbirth, um, you can set up big damage. We are playing at 1-1 Bibberol because we do need a draw engine in the deck. I tried this deck without Bibberol, and I bricked a lot, so I added the Bibberol in the deck, and it helped. We got the two Charmanders. I'm not playing Charizard EX. Um, I mean, I guess you could play it. Like, I, yeah. Charizard EX would probably be, be a good one of to play, but, bro, that card sucks. <laughs> But, yeah, we do have some other cool cards. I am playing a couple weird supporters you don't usually see, and I guess we can take a look at them real quick here. So we do have, of course, the Jock, which allows you to get two evolutions in your hand. Really strong card. It allows you to get two stage twos. If you got a Charmander and a Foy Coco in play, you can Jock and then Starbirth and then go double rare candy and get two stage twos out. And we're playing a Mela. This is a really cool new supporter. So I'm not playing Raihan in the deck. I'm actually playing Mela instead. I definitely want to try Mela in its own kind of archetype down the road for a future video, but it's actually a really cool card. 
You can use it only if something was knocked out last turn. You can attach a basic fire energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon and then draw cards until you have it six in your hand. That's not a bad supporter card. I really like Mela. It's a really cool one of in this deck and it actually can go a long way in this deck. I like playing Mela over Raihan because it does also draw you cards. But let's go show off the Skeletor's deck in action and see what it's all about. All right, in this game, we might be against Charizard, judging from the Charmander sleeves. Our start is okay. We can probably Ultra Ball for Bidoof here so that I can get that into play and set up a Dronjin. Um, attach to Fue Coco, go from there. It is indeed a Charizard, so look at that. All right, what do we draw? Okay, Iono's pretty good. We could just play the Iono too, theoretically. But yeah, I like getting Bidoof down here. I could also get Arceus V to get the V-Star next turn. I kind of like that too, to be honest. Yeah, kinda, maybe we'll just get the Arceus. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, I want to set Arceus up, so I, I guess we'll grab Arceus. I wanted Bidoof, but I think we should probably just get the Arceus and play then. Um, yeah, get that down now. We can Iono, maybe Starbirth for rare candy Skeletors. The question is, what Skeletors do we attack with? I think it's got to be the, the metal one, because the, the other stage two is going to be better in the later half of the game. The knockout Charizard EX in one hit. Um, there's a Luminion coming down here. They got that Luminous Sign... What supporter are they going to grab? It is an Arvin. It is Arvin. Okay. The Luminion being in play is not bad. If that doesn't get collapsed away, that could be a good boss target for us, which is good. Could be easy to take out. Would it be better to stay on even prizes, though? I actually don't know if I should kill Charmander. I should probably try to stay on even prizes if possible, to be fair. I don't want to lose my Fue Coco, though. No, maybe I do. No, I think we just play aggressive. They, if they don't get another Battle VIP here... I guess they have the four seal stone for double VIP cheese. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. I don't know. Maybe we do go for the the attack. I don't want to be on odd prizes, though, to be fair. Ooh, Artisan. That's a very nice card to see. It makes me wonder if they're actually going to grab a Rodom with this four seal stone then. They have three cards. They have to. I really don't want to Iono them. <laughs> it feels kind of bad. Um, TM Evo. Oh, they're playing a TM Evo build of Charizard. Okay. Well, I guess they're kind of playing it. Okay. I mean, that works. I guess, sure. It's fine. It's Charmeleon. They got no Pidgeotto, though. We're chilling. Okay. Do they have one card in hand? Playing Iono feels... Oh, thank heavens we drew that. I was not trying to Iono them. The only issue is I'm going to lose my Bidoof or my Bibro or whatever, which I'm not really trying to do. This deck doesn't play Super Rod, but I don't want to give him an Iono. That was a pretty good, it's a pretty good hit there. Unfortunately, I did prize my uh, two Fue Cocos, which really sucks. All right, well, Starbirth. I almost hit Rare Candy Skeletors there, and I didn't have to do Starbirth, which honestly would have been ideal. Uh, let's grab this, and then maybe like a rope for next turn. I need to get energy on Ark, though. I might just sacrifice the Skeletors, to be honest. Maybe that's the play. Just let the Skeletors die. I need to get energy on Arceus. I mean, they have a one-card hand, but they have a four-seal stone. Unfortunately, I don't play Lost Vacuum. Hmm. I could just go Rope here now. I could just go into Arceus for the turn, to be honest. Is that just better, maybe? Just promote Arceus and just, like, let it sponge a hit? I kind of like that, too. Because if I attack with the Skeletors, it gets knocked out. I can't attack with anything else next turn. Well, I could get Rare Candy Skeletors next turn, but I also want to put this guy down. I also don't really want to, like, again, taking going on odd prizes kind of sucks. Because then, at some point, Arceus V-Star gets one shot. No, I think it's fine to stay on odd prizes. I think we just kind of have to do this. Really sucks we had a prize two Fue Cocos, though. Yeah, I just take the knockout. They only, yeah, I don't know. Foy Coco? Yo, okay, let's go. That's huge. I was going to say, if I get, like, another Foy Coco going here, we're chilling. Because I do want to set up that Skeletors if possible. I want to set up my other Skeletors if possible. Because um, it does one-shot Charizard. I mean, my game plan is kind of in motion. We could rope next turn, maybe retreat a one-prizer, go back into the Skeletors here. Whatever they bring in. Well, we can't incendiary sun our own Skeletors, though, right? Wait, does it? Wait, does Incinerary Sound work on Skeletors, though? 
You may discard a base fire energy from your hand in order to use the ability. During this turn, attacks used by your Pokemon do 60 more damage. Okay. So this ability should work with itself then, right? It doesn't say otherwise. So that's good. Because I would prefer to knock out the... We can rope and take a prize. Because then I don't have to hit the... Char I mean, hitting the Charizard from 160 is okay. But I don't mind going for the rope either. Because then they're forced to give me something on the bench. They're probably just going to give me a Charmander though. They could Iono me, I guess. I doubt... They have to go research here. No, they are going to Iono. Okay. I mean, hopefully they don't get a rare candy Pidgeot off this. Got Mela, we got Jock. Didn't get any energy, which is a bit of an annoyance. That's not good, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they didn't have a research. Maybe it's prized. Yeah, really hoping they don't just rip rare candy Pidgeot. That would be really bad. <laughs> Getting rare candy Pidgeot off that Iona would really suck. Two energies gone. No shot, bro. Got rare candy Pidgeot. Okay, good. Hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty annoying Iono, because now my hand is dead, and I don't have the Bibberol in the deck. I can't can't get the Bibberol into play. If I had Bibberol here, it'd be fine. I have Mela in hand, I guess, which we can work towards, but... It's a pretty good Iono, not gonna lie. Iono giveth and Iono taketh. I need to draw an energy card here, so I can put on Arceus. Really sucks I had to play the Iono. Okay, we'll see what they do here. I'm just gonna swing with this guy. I need to two-shot this. That's why I need an energy for Arceus, because otherwise I can't two-shot this uh, Charizard. I'm only doing 160, which doesn't two-shot a 330 HP Stage 2 Pokemon that does unlimited ramp-up damage. Okay, what do we draw? Something good? Okay. Uh, that does let me get the Charizard here, which honestly is pretty sick. Yeah, I'll just get the Charizard and play now, I guess, sure. We have the Melon hand, so it's all good. They could boss my Charizard, I guess, which would be annoying. But then they're not taking out this guy, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. They can Jock. Uh, grab these two, sure. Fargo broke like Jock, you know? Grab that. And then swing for 160. So they'll knock out my Skeletors here. Or they'll boss KO. Well, I mean, they have a three-card hand, no Pidgeot. Do they even have a boss's order? Probably, because Charizard always manages to have it every time. But we'll see what they got. Now I kind of don't want to get Iono, just because we are sitting on the Mela here. Yeah, the Mela's sick. We can Mela. I could have got the other Skeleturge, I guess, but there's no reason to use it just yet. So we just want to go Arceus. Okay, we'll see what they do. Four cards in hand. Are they going to KO my big, bad Skeleturge? They are. They just... Okay, they just don't do anything else. Okay, they, pardon me. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's try to knock out this thing here. <clears throat> pardon me. Here we go. What do we top deck? I just need an energy. Mint. You love to see it. I mean, there's no basics left, I don't think. Yeah, we've exhausted all of our basics with that. All right. We can attach to Arceus. Play the Mela. Pretty sick card. Better than Raihan in this scenario. Got another Arceus V. Don't want to bench that. All right, we'll just knock out the active. I was kind of hoping to get another. I was hoping to get another Skeletor set up, but whatever, this works too. We'll see if they have another Rare Candy Zard here. Nuss Ball. We can get Radiant Zard down, which I do need. Radiant Zard can one shot the Charizard X, though, even with the Skeletor boost. I need to get the other Skeletor in play to have a shot of winning this. If I set up another Skeletor EX, then we can just one shot their Charizard EX. That's the plan. I didn't get that there. They have a seven card hand. I mean, the likelihood they have her candy Charizard is pretty high. They haven't played one yet. They only have four energy left, though. No, they have two energy left. They're playing Entei. All right, Entei is easy caps, bro. That's easy, bro. We can smoke that thing. Ooh, they're going to great catch her, though. Bring in the Skeledurge. That's annoying. I'm about to switch, right? No, I still have my rope. Honestly, we can probably just boss here, knock out Pidgey. And then we just have to KO Charizard X to win. That's probably the win con at this point. Yeah, I think that's going to be our win con. Do they have Hurricane Zard here? I don't think so. I think they just... Yeah, they're just passing. All right, cool. What do we draw? Cheryl. All right, let's grab the Radiant Charizard. Attach. I could boss Kale Lumineon. Go down to one prize. I definitely like just knocking out their Pidgey here. Like, I think Kale on the Pidgey is, like, obviously the play. Because I don't want them to get a Pidgeot in play. If they get a Pidgeot in play, their deck gets to function. And we don't want their deck to function. 
Okay, we'll see what our prize is. I don't think there's anything really. Probably a yeah, mana fee. whoop de doo All right, I think this game's probably over. I have game next turn. I just retreat Skeletors thanks to the Charizard giving me a four energy retreat. All right, that made no sense. I can use Charizard to retreat Skeletors. We can go Arceus, and then we have another energy. They have to Iono me here to stop me from winning this turn. But it's, like, looking pretty bleak for them. They could get another Pidgey down, I guess, with, like, this Artisan, but still. I'd rather them not get a Pidgey down this turn. There's a boss. Ooh, they're going to go after my Radiance Art here. That's fine, too, because unless they have a secret plan, I just win. Oh, no, they just pass. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to attach. And then... Pass. Doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah, that's fine. It's a one prizer. So even if my opponent gets like rare candy Charizard here and goes into the Charizard this turn, they're only getting a one prize knockout. They still have to go through two two prizers, and I can still two shot them with Arceus Skeletors. There's an Ultra Ball. Do they finally get a Charizard in play here? See, this is why I took out that Pidgey. Yeah, I think there's a rare candy in their hand. We'll see. Do they even have enough energy left, though? They're down six fire energy, and they're super rod. Like, they might not have much energy left going on in the deck. I guess we'll see. No, they do have it. See, I'm glad I killed that Pidgey, because they would have had rare candy Pidgey odd this turn. They should probably have at least two energy left in the deck. I imagine they're playing... I doubt they're playing six energy. They gotta be playing at least eight, most likely. But even if the Entei KOs me, I, just, I have game in hand. They have to retreat Entei this turn into Charizard to prevent me from winning here. Because I have game in hand. I'm sitting on the uh, rare... I'm sitting on the, the knockout with Arceus. Arceus with Skeletor can do 260 damage and absolutely destroy this Entei. No, they put on Charizard. So is that one card in the hand a switch? If, that, if they have a switch here, I mean, they can't stop me. If they stay in the active, I attach and knock them out. They have to... Retreat this turn or switch. They haven't played a switch yet. I guess they could hit something, but we'll see. I don't think they got it. I think we might have triumphed here. Let's see it. What's bro cooking? Are they cooking anything? No, just a pass. That's game. We do have another energy in hand. And that will be enough to destroy this NTV. It was looking pretty good anyways. Right, they didn't have a Pidgeot in play. Even if they hit me with Charizard there, killed my Radiant Sword, I had Arceus and Skeletor in play, I would have been able to two-shot. It would have came down probably to a boss, but they also were running out of options to, like, attack, so, like, they couldn't potentially even set up another Charizard to attack. And without Pidgeot in play, right, their deck just does not function. Oh, we're against Moon. I started Arceus. We're gonna have to just hit him with the Escape Rope here. His hand's actually decent. I wish I had a basic, though. Like, I wish I had another basic. Like, a Foy Coco would have been really good there. Unfortunate. <laughs> we had to rope and sack Bidoof. Our hand's, like, fine. I'm probably just gonna have to maybe research. Just try to get all in on my stuff. Really wish I got a Foy Coco there. Getting a Foy Coco down that turn would have been really good. Would have really liked Foy Coco. They got a Hisuian Heavy Ball for Morpeko. They could have Morpeko me, which kind of sucks. I have Boss, though. Boss doesn't feel good, though. I mean, we'll see what they got. Hopefully we don't get roped. They got the Fruit Tree Pivot in play now, which is annoying. They have a Nest Ball of all cards. Oh, God. They don't even need the battle VIP. Bro just has the diet VIP with Heavy Ball Nest Ball. Not like this. We'll see what they do. Squawk and Seize. Ooh, that's a lot of capsules. All right, we love to see those. Three in hand. That's crazy. Sometimes it do be like that. Hmm. And they lost what? A Dark Patch and Energy? All right, we'll see if they can knock me out. I Obviously, ideally, they don't kill me here. They could whip it. All right, they got an Ultra Ball. Question is, do they have a supporter? That's the main question. Collapsed energy switch. Okay, Collapsed Stadium is not a bad discard. They got the Radiant Greninja. They can see a couple of more cards here, which is a little scary. We'll see what they got. Can they pull off an attack? That's the question. Do they have a Galarian a Moltres in the deck? What supporter? Do they have a Sada? There's another Moon. They have a Sada. Okay, no Sada. No turn one attack. Huge. What do we draw? Ooh, sick. I am losing a rare candy and a crocolar, but yeah. This is like an obvious research. That was not a great research hand, though. I'm not really digging this hand too much. Not going to lie. Hmm. Huh. Alright, we'll Starbirth. I don't have the DT, so... 
Bidoof is going to have to get KO'd. We're going to have to sacrifice Bidoof. All right, we'll grab this and grab... I might have to research again. Grab these two. Hmm. Yeah, prizing DT does kind of suck. Maybe I should just get Charmander, because I do want to get the Charizard in play. Uh, considering DT's prize is kind of awkward, yeah, I'll just grab Charmander, sure. I don't, like, slowly send up against Roaring Moon. I don't have a choice. Should I just attach or... Should I attach to Arc or Foy Coco? Attach to Arc, I guess. Hmm. I'll see what my opponent does. Probably gonna have to research next turn. But then I lose Charizard. We can rot it back. Ah, we'll see. I don't think my opponent's gonna kill Arceus here. I mean, they would have to have, like, some insane hand to do that. I guess with catchers, maybe, but we'll see. I doubt it. Bit of a slow start on both of our ends, but that's fine. We got, we're setting up our board a little bit, which is good. There's a Pokey Stop. We could roll that, actually, for Rare Candy. Yeah, they got an Ultra Ball. They can get a Mew EX here if they want. They did lose a boss, though, which is a great card to lose. And they just passed. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Rare Candy top deck. Don't want that. Uh, I'm losing more supporters, which also kind of sucks. Hmm. Research. I'm not going to roll the Pokestop. Feels risky. And I wasn't going to get it. I didn't get anything good off. I just got basically the same hand. Bro, what is this? This hand sucks, bro. Oh my gosh. Nothing good there. Pass. Dude. <laughs> What is this game? Oh my gosh. This is literally like the same hand we just had. Iono research a Charmander instead of Charizard. Like, what the heck am I looking at? We're going to have to just Iono next turn and see where it takes us. Not of a choice. All right. This is a scuffed game, but it is what it is. We uh, have to deal with it. We have to deal with it. Nah, we'll see what they got. I need to get double Skeletor set up. Or at least one. I don't think they have any Ancient Booster Capsules left. Because I was thinking they did discard three of them. This is a scuffed game on both our ends. We're both kind of just having, like, weird draws. Hopefully we don't see a Pokemon Catcher here. If they knock on my Arceus, that puts me on the back foot quite a bit. So I really don't want my Arc to die. I don't really like losing Bidoof, but... Try to Super Rod, get back Bidoof and Crocolar and Charizard at some point. Alright, what's bro cooking? Do they have it like that? Oh my god. Really? They No knockout? Bro. We're cooked. I didn't even like drawing that Ultra Ball. Maybe I should have rolled the Pokestop to try to get rid of Candy. Because I bet you I maybe would have got one. No, I would not have got one. We got Switch, though. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. This hand is still very mid, though, to be honest. Should I just grab a Stage 2 and hope to rip it off Bibs? Sure. Bro, we still got rare Candy. Surely we'll get something. Maybe I'll roll the Pokestop, too. Bib roll for three... Screw it. I'm feeling it. Rare candy. I gotta find one eventually. And I don't get one. Rip. Oh my god. What is this game, bro? Where's my rare candies at, dude? Come on. Oh no. That's actually really bad. I didn't get rare candy Skeledurge. Because now my opponent can knock me out with Frenzy Gouging on this. I don't know. That sucks, dude. What is this game? I guess if they go Frenzy Gouging, we can knock him out with Charmander. It's gonna have to be the play. This is a scuffed game, though. How is, how is neither of us, like, attacked? Like, at all. Like, the fact that I took the first attack there in, like, turn four is crazy. They're attached to the active. They have to retreat here. There's no... I mean, let's say want a Calamity Storm. That's not going to be enough. They could sacrifice themselves. I guess, like, Frenzy Gouging is, like, not terrible. Then they can bring in more Peko. And I don't think I'm going to get boss. So, I don't know. Maybe it's okay to just sacrifice themselves here. I don't know. Pokestop. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good Pokestop. I low-key want the Pokestop to stay in play, because I'm... <laughs> I might have to spin it again to try to get the Switch. Or not the Switch, the Rare Candy. Yeah, I was going to say, they have to attack with this Roymon. There's no way. But now I can knock out Charmander. Or Foy Coco. But we definitely just use Charmander here. Maybe we'll draw Rare Candy. We did thin the top three cards. There's a chance we draw Rare Candy. This is just... This is a wild game. Though. I don't know what to tell you, folks. This is definitely a game from the back rooms. We'll knock about Charmander. I could roll the Pokestop before I do Iono, but honestly, there is one silver lining here. 
I got no two prizers in place. Maybe I just leave it like that. I think I'm just going to Iono and knock out because I don't want to put another two prizer down. I would draw that. I told you I was going to draw it too. Hmm. They just got a boss so they can frenzy gouging this. With a, I mean, they need to use a fresh rain moon. Nah, no, screw it. They need a fresh rain moon here to attack this thing. Should be okay. We're Ionoing them too. It's all good. Iono. Yeah, sure. I would draw that, though. I was like, I can leave myself with no two-prizer in play, but I think it's fine to just go for this. Can we get another rare candy? There we go. Get rid of that. Hold the hand and just heat tackle for the knockout. This is just, this, is, this game is wild. Alrighty, then. Let's see. What do we got of the prizes here? More energy. That's fine. Don't really need the DT, but we'll take the energy, I guess. We can uh, figure something out. They can knock him over with Pekko here, I guess, which is a little annoying with this. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I should just went knock out with a two-prizer. But then they just attack with fresh Brain Moon. We need a boss. That's what we need. If they go more Pekko, though, I can attack with Radiant Zard. Because I can go Rare Candy Charizard. They might not be able to do more Pekko, though, because they do need, like, an Energy Switch or something. They have two left. That's, but getting with the Pokestop might make it very hard for them to pull this off. They're also down, what, seven, nine energy? I don't even think they can do Concealed here, to be honest. They maybe have a 10th energy in the deck. It could be prized. It is in the deck. That should be their last energy, though. So they want to Concealed here. They got to get rid of their last energy, so they can't do much else. So that was a pretty good Iono. That was our last Iono, for the record. We are pretty much out of draw, for the record, other than, yeah, we're out of draw. Oh, did they hit the knockout on my Skeletors? Dude, no shot. Ugh. Don't do it. Did they get there? Maybe Iona's a lie. Did I actually just give him the knockout? Okay, I didn't. Okay, good. What do we draw? Manifly. Welcome back, buddy. Hmm. Ooh, the Pogo's art is prized. Oh, God. Pogozard and Super Rod are both prized. So I can't even... Oh, I can't even attack here. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Our prizes are terrible. Oh, no. I didn't realize my Pogozard, my other Zard was prized. Rod and Zard being prized actually is grief. Pass, I guess? This sucks. I'm yeah, it's not good. Maybe they'll maybe they'll whiff the energy here though. They put a couple back in the deck with that super raw, but there's a chance. If they whiff the attack here, we can attack with this thing. Or we can just retreat it. It's not a good idea though. There's pal pad, that's not good. Sada boss. Do they have the knockout? They don't. Okay, yeah, so I was gonna say they're in top deck mode. Alright, what do we draw? Cheryl. Welcome back, Cheryl. Don't need Cheryl. I guess we'll keep on thinning. Keep the DT, I guess, as a retreat option. We'll knock him out with Skeletors. We have big Skeletors, too. I was hoping to get boss there, to be honest. That would have been nice. All right, what do we got the prizes? Super Rod is good. That's a good prize. There we go. Okay, okay. Good, good. And they promote the Greninja. I mean, they kind of had to, I guess. Let's see if they can attack me here. Could retreat Skeletors. No, I think I just... Do I want to leave this guy in the active? I don't think they have... If they had a fourth capsule, then I would maybe conserve this. Because I do want to make sure I can knock out a Roaring Moon with Burning Voice or with uh, Radiant Zard in one hit. But I can always set up another Skeletor's. Switch card. Oh, my God. Did they hit the attack? But they have to use this... Rain, they have to sacrifice themselves. Okay, this is fine. We just win, then. Yeah, they have to sacrifice themselves, and then we just win with uh, Roaring Moon. Okay, we, we we win. Unless they I know me and I whip, but I bibroll. Yeah, it's game. Okay. Yeah, they have to sacrifice themselves here to knock out my Skeletors. Whatever they promote, I just KO with Burning Voice. Sick. Okay. The one thing they did maybe have going for them is if they if they took the knockout and then had a Roaring Moon with a capsule on it. Because my hand is so big, I don't think I'd be able to play it down, to be honest, for the boss. We'll just promote this guy, because this thing literally KOs anything in the active. And there is the Roaring Moon, and we'll just knock it out with Burning Voice. We did have one more energy left in the deck here, and that will allow us to take the knockout. I guess I could have thinned my hand on a little bit with Super Rod, with Bibberol, because I had double Nest Ball, maybe burn the Jock to 
Um, I guess I could have maybe got there if I didn't have the energy, but we got there in the end with the big Skeledirges coming up. That was a goofy game, though. The fact that, like, neither of us set up for that long is crazy. Maybe against Gold Dango. Ironically enough, this is, should be one of our better matchups. We do have Skeledirge and stuff. We have Fire Pokemon. The biggest hurdle, though, is this Palkia. Never mind, we prized... No, okay. <laughs> it was in our hand. I was like, oh, he's prized, but no, bro, it was in our hand. The biggest hurdle we have to get over is this Palkia. The hand's decent. I could jog for Arceus and Crocolar, but I need to switch DTE off Starbirth if they're in the deck. I didn't really price check. I probably should have. All right, this is probably Goldango. Oh, double Palkia V-Star. That's not great. They didn't get a battle VIP, though, which is what I would call great, though. We'll see if this is Goldango. It's probably Goldango. I don't really know any other deck that plays Palkia and Pokestop. Could be Shempow. Shempow is fine. We just set up a couple Arceus. Set up Skeletors. No, it's Goldango. All right, we'll see if they get a Gimme Ghoul here. They got Worker. That's fine. Get rid of the Pokestop. Do they find a Battle VIP? There is a Battle VIP. Yay! Let's go. My opponent gets to play the game. That's annoying. All right. I could... We can knock out Palkia here if I get it. Okay, if I draw an Energy, a Switch, double Turbo, technically I can... No, I can't get Rare Candy, though. Should I just Iono? I don't know. If we can draw a Rare Candy, that'd be nice, because then I can knock out Palkia V with Arceus V-Star, which I would actually prefer to do. I kind of want to get this immediate knockout with Arceus this turn. That'd be really nice. Just to immediately get this KO would be good. So I kind of need to go for that. I need Manaphy, though, too, because of the Greninja, which is also annoying. Is it really better to Iono, then? Because I need to get Manaphy down, too. Because I'm threatened by Greninja here. Let's see if we top deck. Fire Energy... So I can go Jock for Crocola, Arceus, Starburst for Switch, DT. Which is not enough. Do I just guarantee... Guaranteeing Arceus feels bad. I need to attack this Palkia. I am just going to Iono and see if we can rip something. I think I have to go for the Iono. And I also need to get Manaphy down. Oh, actually insane. I think I have the Knockout, actually, right? I have to get rid of my entire hand. Right? DT. Okay. Manaphy, don't be priced. But do I even need Manaphy then at that point? Starbirth for DT, rare candy. No, I need an energy. So I don't have the knockout. Rip. I was close. We actually almost got the KO. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't got it. DT, rare candy. That's fine. We'll go DT, Crocolar. Needed to kill the Palkia here, but it's fine. Because as long as Ark doesn't get KO'd here, it's fine. We got the Manaphy down. As long, I mean, they could have, like, double Cologne Cross Switch or something, which could be pretty bad, but we'll see. We will see. Honestly, getting another Arceus in play is not bad either, because Arceus V-Star with three energy and Skeletors does one-shot Goldengo. So we'll see what's up. Getting him into the Palkia is nice, though. I did want to set it up. As long as my opponent does not take a prize this turn on my active. It is possible, though. They could, like, retreat in a Goldengo, draw a million cards, find enough energy to KO me. Got Radiant Zard in this matchup too, which is pretty good. Yeah, Radiant Zard is also going to be really good because it can attack Goldengo. We'll see what's up. I mean, they can probably just. I mean, them subspace swelling my Arceus is probably their best play, to be honest. Yeah, it's probably their best play. Just subspace swell me here, get some damage on me. I think that's fine. We'll probably just bench Radzard, Iono. I do want to get Arceus V down, though. Like I said, I wouldn't mind getting a second Arceus V in play. Because, again, I can one-shot Palkia V-Star with Arceus V-Star. We'll see what they're in. We're gonna, blah, blah, blah. We'll see what they do this turn. Ideally, they don't... If they if they take a knockout here, this is pretty bad. It's really bad. I, I, I think we lose if they take a knockout. Well, we have Radiant Sard still to fall back on. But we don't want my opponent to take the first two prizes. That would be very, very awkward. We'll see what's up. No shot. Because they can retreat... No, they can't knock me out. They, no, they, they can't. I lied. Because they have to retreat Palkia and attach to this. That's not possible. Unless they're cheating. Now nah, we should be fine. They have, they're probably just going to subspace swell me here. I guess they could go Rad, Greninja, and get 90 on me. Honestly, that's not even a bad play. Hitting me with Radiant Greninja is actually not a terrible play because then they can keep this thing for later. And then... Yeah, yeah. Going Reading Greninja here doesn't seem terrible either. 
I mean, I, hopefully they don't do that. We'll see. They got six cards. I mean, Subspace Solomy is also pretty good too, right? But I don't know. We'll see what they do. We'll see what my opponent decides to do here. The problem is, too, they don't want to lose their Greninja. Star Portal. How much are they doing with Pelkia here? Can they two shot me with Raiding Greninja? Well, now, now they're not Greninja. Now they're locked in on Subspace. Well, how much is it doing? 180. Okay. We have enough HP to not get killed by Greninja next turn. Nice. Okay, there's an energy. I'll attach that there. Ventradzard. Play Iono. Looking for a Bidu for Charmander here or another Arceus V. It didn't get either. Rip. That's not good. I have the Jock for next turn, though, to get the Skeletor GX. We're going to have to use the Scarlet and Violet Skeletor here, I think, to knock out this Goldengo. Okay, we'll see what we get off the prizes. Two prizes. What do you got for me? Mm, we got an energy, so we can at least take the knockout next turn, but I was hoping for more stuff. All right, that's fine. They... Hmm, I guess they could set up a play with Greninja later on in the game, which is a little scary. We'll see. I am a little scared of that reading Greninja still. I think it's still very much a live threat. They're playing 2-2 Palkia too. They could easily get a Super Rod and get another Palkia back up. I don't want them to get another Palkia in play. I'd rather just go through two Goldengos now, because Goldengo's easy to KO. Poke Gear. Let's see. Do they got a Worker? What's their Poke Gear going to give them? What does it give them? No shot they're playing Iono, right? It's actually a pretty good hand otherwise, other than not having like a good draw card. Irida? Okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. They're probably just going to kill my active here. It looks like that's what they're doing. I need. I just need to play around this thing. This thing is kind of scary because I don't want them to Moonlight Shuriken farm me. That's why we probably want to evolve our stuff. Maybe I shouldn't have benched this then. Because there's no way I'm going to get three rare candies next turn. I don't want to leave too many Pokemon in play that can get killed by Greninja. Canceling Cologne. Yeah, they're getting ready for that big play. But that's fine. We're going to be able to evolve our stuff here anyways. It's all good. It's all good, man. We're going to be able to evolve our stuff. We're chilling. Might come down to like an energy attachment. Because we need to not whiff Charizard's attack next turn after we knock out my opponent's active Goldengo. With Skeletor GX from Scarlet and Violet base set. They need, what, two energy to KO me? Should be easy peasy, obviously. There's two energy on the Greninja, which actually, honestly, that is really good. That's really good they have two energy stuck on Greninja. Because Skeletor GX has 340 HP. That thing is monstrous. So those energies on the Greninja here are kind of clogging up their, their board a little bit, which is pretty good. That might make it even harder for them to knock me out next turn. They get rid of a, a worker with retrieval. That's actually pretty good info. I can't really do Iono, but we'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. Yeah, the energy being on the Greninja is really good. Yeah, I might actually make it really hard for them to make it rain my Skeleturge. That means next turn they're probably going to go for the Greninja Cologne play. But I have boss in hand. So we'll see. If they go like Roxanne, Greninja Cologne next turn, we could be in trouble. They did get rid of a worker with that superior, which tells me maybe it's in the hand. I don't know. All right, we'll see what our top deck is here. Nice. We're chilling. All right, let's jock. Grab the two dirges. Evolve the active. Rare candy. Attach. Is there ever a reason to bench Foy Coco here? I don't think so. Just knock the active out. We have game with Radzard next turn. Or, okay, so either my opponent rock sands me... And they go Greninja to try to not give up Goldengo, but I have boss in hand, so we'll see what happens. We got Cheryl and Charizard off the prizes. Would have been good to get Pogozard in play, too. So then I could have put the energy elsewhere. They're going Goldengo. I actually don't know if they can knock me out here, to be honest. They might have to go for the Greninja play. They have to go... They, they, they go Greninja, Cross, Witcher, Cologne, and Roxanne, and I whiff boss. Might be in trouble. I might lose the game. So we are still very much in a position to lose if my opponent can pull off the right combo. We still have rope in the deck, so ooh, they got the cross witchers. Oh my god, they had it. We know the clones in their hand. Yikes. That's why I wanted to evolve this guy too. And I could have played around a potential play here where they can't take two prizes with Greninja. 
Regarding mentioning that Foy Coco now. If my opponent does not Roxanne me here, though, I do have game in hand. I have boss. Boss and rope, even, if they evolve that Gimme Ghoul. Oh, man. This is scary, dude. They could still win this, which is pretty scary. This is actually pretty bad that they can still win this game. No! They actually pulled it off! No! Shot, bro. Okay, what do we draw? Okay, Roxanne is a lie. But it's not enough of a lie for me to win, I don't think. Yeah, it's actually really bad. I think we lose. Maybe? It's not looking good. Do I just promote the Skeletors? I don't think so. No way I'm going to drop boss, right? They actually had it, bro. God damn it. I think we're going to lose this game, bro. It's actually so bad. <sighs> if I go into this guy, they just win with Goldengo next turn. I mean, I just got to pray they don't do another cross switcher. I could draw an Iono here. I think I go Radiant there no matter what. Yeah. We whiffed Iono. Crap. I think we're going to lose. Oh, we hit the rope. No, dude. If my opponent benched... Oh, man, dude. If they benched another Goldengo, I would have just won with Escape Rope. Oh, that is so annoying. Bro, I had game with Escape Rope. Oh, that sucks. Dude, if they literally evolved this, I just would have won the game on the spot with Escape Rope. That's a bummer. Hmm. Do I even knock out the active here? There's no reason not to, I guess. Yeah. I just gotta hope they don't have the cross switchers, I guess. Thankfully, we have two very bulky Pokemon in play. So, we'll see. It comes down to whether or not my opponent has game. They probably have game, but we'll see. That sucks, dude. Had they just put one more EX in play there, I would have just won the game with Escape Rope. Because anything they brought in would have just got incin like incinerated by this thing. That sucks. So unfortunate. I cannot believe we might actually just lose to Goldengo here. This deck is insane. No, the fact that they can use Greninja is like just terrible for us. Greninja is a very annoying attacker for us to deal with. We'll see if they got it like that. We got to hope they prize a cross switcher or a boss. We'll see. It's not good. They can see their... Honestly, can they see their whole deck? I think they can. I got to hope they prize a cross switcher. Nope, they got boss. They still have to do a lot of damage. They're committed to this knockout. So we'll see if they can pull it off. Yeah, I cannot believe we just lost to Goldengo though, dude. This matchup should be pretty easy. But yeah, they got a really lucky uh, Roxanne against me. And they pulled off the Greninja play. Had I not had that Foy Coco in play, I think we would have been fine, because then they wouldn't have been able to take two prizes. Can they pull off the KO? They need seven energy to knock me out. Do they have seven? There's six in the discard. They need seven energy in total to win here. If we survive the turn, we have game in hand with Escape Rope. So they have to win here, or else I just win with Rope. Pokestop. No, they got Retrieval! That's six energy... Yeah, it's probably game. They probably have the seventh energy in their hand. Losing a gold angle is honestly kind of bizarre, but this deck is just that good, bro. This deck is that good. Just the fact that they can put a one prizer against you and take two prizes is insane. I should have played around the Greninja play. That's what makes this matchup so freaking scary. They're doing 500 damage. Holy crap. They have 11 energy in the deck? God damn. That sucks we lost. I mean, we had a few win cons. One, we drew a boss off Roxanne. Two... They benched a third gold angle. I literally just would have won the game with Escape Rope. And there you have it. That is the double Skeletor's EX deck in action. Getting to use Burning of Voice Skeletor's again is pretty fun. And, of course, when you have access to the other new Skeletor's from Paradox Rift with that really good ability, I enjoyed this deck quite a bit. I think the double Skeletor's combo is really good. There's so many combos for this new Skeletor's. I still have yet to finish making more videos on this card because there's so many different cards you can technically pair it with. I like the list, though. I thought the deck was fine. There's a lot going on, obviously, in the deck. You know, two stage twos, the Arceus, but the deck still flowed pretty well. We got some good matches in the video. We had a very close game against Goldengo EX. We would have won the game, potentially, had they just put a third EX in play. I would have roped for a game. But overall, this deck is definitely a really cool archetype. And having two different Skeletors that are both very powerful and both do different things and even somewhat synergize nicely together is really cool. But that'll be for me on this Skeletors deck. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 56. 
1,000 subs. Share a card comment down below. If you need any codes, use code LBF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shovel Squad, and the second channel down below. Um, should be some really cool post rotation content on the second channel this week. There is another Champions League in Japan this weekend, which means we're probably going to get more new card reveals because uh, we're going to get another set that's going to be in our Temporal Forces set, and that should be revealed in this Champions League this weekend. So a ton more new cards should get revealed this weekend, so definitely get hyped for that on the second channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and bye-bye.